Aloha, this is the green lighting Mr. T, and this is... Por <laughs> thanks, thanks Steam. Um, Portal... Portal Stories Mel. Yes, I don't actually need to read that to know what it says, I'm just being silly and trying to read it instead of just dacusing from my brain. This is a Portal 2 custom story, I guess. It's not just the map, it's a story. It's got a story to go with it. Um, it's is absolutely free if you already own Story por stor Story por Portal 2. <laughs> uh, of course. It, I don't really know whether this is like a, just a full-blown mod of the game or whether it's just it's a custom story that was done with the game. That's either way, it's perfectly fine. I've <laughs> that falls under the category of stuff I would do for my. Uh, hack series. Uh. I made sure to include custom game content. Either way, this game was suggested to me by uh, Gaming Wolf. No, not Gaming Wolf. That was last time. It was suggested by Eternal. Um, thank you for suggesting me this game. I. Hope you're doing well. I don't still don't know whether you're around to see that I'm actually doing this stuff. <laughs> but okay, it's it looked like a fun thing, and I I've kind of like Portal 2, for the Portal games, they're absolutely excellent. However, like I have pretty good memory, I think, when it comes to um well video games. <laughs> So, it's really hard for me, it, like, I, I know this, I'll know the, the puzzle solutions and everything already, so it's, it'd be kind of hard to, like, do a portal playthrough or anything like that. Um, but this gives me a way of actually playing portal while not knowing all the, the solutions to the game beforehand. <laughs> so, this, this is a good thing. So, we're just going to hop into it. What the heck is advanced mode? The original mod with hard opposite. How big a difference? Do I just do advanced mode? <laughs> Harder puzzles. Okay, I guess it considers itself a mod, so that helps. I think I kind of just want to just do advanced mode then. Is it gonna? Is it still gonna do the story if I do advanced mode? This is the sort of stuff you figure out, out beforehand, but it's, it's game blind. Oh, I just clicked on advanced mode. What's happening? Okay, I think it's it's gonna be just fine. Not this stupid. <laughs> if you'll please excuse me for a sec. Really? Really? Oh. Well, it's fixed. Whatever. I don't know what. <laughs> I have no idea what was wrong, but it's fixed now. Is this thing on? Yeah, okay. <clears throat> Greetings, astronaut, war hero, or Olympian. My name's Cave Johnson, and boy, do I have something to show you. You're here because you're the best the world has to offer. I don't say that lightly, mind you, so take that as one of the biggest compliments you'll ever get in your life, even if you don't know who I am. In the beginning, I started a shower curtain company, making asbestos-laden shower curtains for the military. But I kept dreaming bigger and better. And you know what? That dreaming became doing. Lots of doing. Which brought you here. You're riding into the little Michigan town of... Uh... Wait. Where are we again? Uh, okay. So. This town doesn't have a name yet, as we're the ones who built it. But <laughs> that doesn't matter. 
point is, you're writing there, and you'll soon be at Aperture Science Innovators. We're still getting some of this stuff together, but there's a lot of science we can do in the meantime. You have been selected from a large group of candidates for a special test in our temporary testing areas. When the train arrives at the station, head into the town and into the Aperture building. Don't worry, you'll know where it is. You'll get some more pre-recorded messages once you're there. Now, get ready to do some science! For now, though, we're gonna put on some nice music for you. Enjoy the ride. So, uh... I should say, if you haven't already played Portal 2 or any of the Portal games for that matter, you definitely should invest in doing such things. Not only does the game have great puzzles, but it also is funny. Alright, you're now arriving at Aperture Central Station. <clears throat> Wait. Chris, get over here. How do you spell station? Okay, think about that for a second. Okay. Does station have an extra O before the I? Alright, listen to me. Back your things. Because you're fired! Get out of my office. Out. Yeah. Out of my office. Was that not? I guess that wasn't the right station. <laughs> and wait, if it's a recruiting recorded message. What? Are you sure these are pre-recorded? <laughs> Wait, if it's the wrong station, why are you playing a, a, a the wrong thing at the wrong time at the right moment? <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that's it all. Music's gotten louder. Superconductor tests. Superpowers. S super. Tumors or both. Yep. Science spheres. Now with asbestos? Asbestos. Is that asbestos? Propulsion gel. Tastes like science. All the wonderful things. Okay. As I said before, there's a lot we're still working on. Just watch your step on the way out, and as a reminder, Aperture Science Innovators is not responsible for any injury you sustain. Up to and including death by exposure to cosmic ray spallation. Don't worry, though. No. We haven't had an accident like that in three days. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Make that three minutes. <laughs> Sarsaparilla. Caffeinated decaf. Yeah, excellent. That, that's definitely my drink of choice. Caffeinated decaf. Yeah. Welcome to test subjects. Please sign in with the receptionist for Proceeding to the lounge. Hooray! <laughs> I guess I take the exit? <laughs> was there. Was the other side just the entrance as opposed to an exit? No, they're both exits. Oh. I suppose I should talk to this person here. Nope, good chat. Okay. Um. <laughs> there's, a, there's actual other humans in this game, which is kind of fun. My human? Hmm, I don't seem to have feet. That Here makes me think I'm a. We love to give back to the community. Spirit? So, instead of just giving back, we made our own community. Entirely made there out of aperture science thing? malleable concrete on top of the salt mines. And that's exactly why you shouldn't touch the walls or stomp your feet either. <clears throat> Last thing we need is to touch up a dent in the wall because someone was too hands-on. 
Okay. Now that's the action button, but nothing, no action is happening. Yeah. I have no idea what I'm getting myself into. But that wouldn't have changed if I had picked a different it's just a custom story, so, uh, yeah. Well, apparently, if, if there's an American flag, just, I would think that would mean we're in America. Is Aperture Science an American company? I told you it was easy to find. You found it faster than uh, any test subjects on record. <clears throat> uh, that's not good. That's mm. not good? Just head through the door on the right to the elevator. You'll know where to go. Oh, your allergens. Animal dander. Antimatter. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm glad I'm not allergic to antimatter. Man, they really do like their astronauts. Activate door. Why am I supposed to go to the right? Nice safety precautions for picking up packages so you don't throw out your back. Okay, time to go the other way. Events. Fifty Shades of Cave. Why? It's like you live on Halo and this, this is, the ring goes up, except it's populated by people. I don't know. First thing that came to mind looking at it. Well, I'm trying to buy salt mine. Number two. Oh no. He didn't make it to number one. That one doesn't open, and I assume. Ooh! Guess I don't know the passcode. So, at first, I wanted to put in a long flight of stairs that spiraled down through the old salt mines down here. Give the test subjects a great view of the place. But no! The zoning boards on my bean counters said that's why they invented elevators. So, when someone in a wheelchair threatened to sue, my former boys chicken out of me and built this elevator to go to our temporary offices. I'm still working on those stairs, and those guys are working on getting new jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously though, the stairs aren't ready, so get on that stupid elevator. <laughs> Lovely. Yeah. Ready for the ability to mute my mic when I'm going to sneeze. Alright, I guess we're moving on now. You are here. Elevator one? Is there multiple elevators? Why do you need multiple elevators? Are you gonna send me to the bottom of this and then send me to the top of the next one and then have to travel down again? That doesn't seem to make much sense. Why do you why are there why are there four of them? Yeah, I'm going down. Here at Aperture, we're always trying to push the boundaries of science that little bit more. That's why we're taking on this new project. 
When the bean counters told me not to buy a salt mine with all this science, the first thing they said was, No, there's too much space. You can't suspend something over nothing and pray that a test can happen in thin air. Well, thanks to some use of the old calculator between the ears and a generous helping of the your fired stamp, I came up with a final solution to that. If you can't anchor something in thin air, why bother trying to make it in the air in the first place? I came up with this. Introducing the Aperture Science Innovators Suspended Testing Sphere. Each sphere is suspended in the air, anchored to the walls by concrete and steel lattice rebar. They seem like they float in the air, but in fact, they don't. Plus, we can keep building above them, onward and upward. This salt mine here can take at least 10 of these bad boys per shaft. Nine shafts, 90 tests. We can oh. test whatever we want to and beat that other company into the ground. Black Mesa. Those guys can kiss my back. Anyway, the bean counters cried like babies when they saw the cost of these things. But they wet their pants when they threw them out the door. I pay the bills, I make the decisions around here. And I hire and fire as I please. <clears throat> now, the first of these spheres won't be ready for a few more months. So, you'll be participating in one of our smaller tests. The Aperture Science Innovators Short-Term Relaxation Vault. Relaxation Vault? I like to move a lot. Oh, is, is there another thing to tell me how far down I am? Are we stopping at this one or are we going on to another one? Oh, doesn't look like we're stopping. When you get to the offices, I'll tell you a bit more. This test should be real easy for you though. Just get inside one of the Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vaults and lie in a bed. You'll feel yourself fall asleep quickly. Don't worry though, our science boys will get you out shortly. You'll only be out for a few minutes. Uh, an hour at most if something goes wrong. <coughs> Don't worry, we ain't got everything under control. You'll be making science, and you won't have to do a thing. Who's the winner here? You are. We're two hundred and fifty feet. Or is that meters? I forgot to check the thing. Oh, there's other people down here. It's not being all run by robots. Unless the people are robots. Am I a robot? Still don't know. I, I can't see my feet. I might still be a spirit. Did I read the last thing wrong? Didn't it say like 2,500 2, something? I keep forgetting the... <laughs> How did we jump to twice that? Meters. Okay, it is meters. Well, I guess if it was long enough, that'd be a lot of meters. So, as I said on the last pre-recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short-term relaxation vault for a quick, deep sleep. What? Get off the screen, you stupid... That's why we brought you here at night. Yep. Get off the screen. Okay. You're most likely a walking zombie. That'll give us the best results. But just remember, don't sleep too long. This Wait, why does it go in the negative number direction? I'm charging your rent for the next year. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs, boys, disappear because of him. Okay. <laughs> Just take the water to see it. Yeah, I, 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 so, I. As I said on the last pre recorded message, you'll be heading into an Aperture Science Innovator's short term relaxation <laughs> vault for a quick, deep sleep. You, and then you're you com That's you, why we brought your non existent feet your completely dissolved in the water time. and you died. Uh, you please try. <laughs> remember, don't sleep too long. This isn't a bed and breakfast. And if you decide to stay tonight, I'm charging your rent for the next okay. year. Okay. We'll have a bed ready for you. Just follow the testing area signs and go to bed. Don't mind the turrets. They're firing blanks. At least that's what Crazy Harry told me. <clears throat> Had six signs yeah, for yeah. his disappearance. Danger. You will dissolve. Was I actually right? 
<laughs> so like, that's not drowning, that's dissolving. The, the, he doesn't have feet anymore. I never had feet to begin with. It's an elevator to the toilet. <laughs> As of course, you don't just use you don't just use doors to get to the toilet. You use an elevator. Yeah. Not like I know which way I'm going yet. Where where your respirator? Oh dear. Food facts. We help the orphan if we buy what happens to be plentiful in our locality. Home killed meat. <laughs> Coffee, potatoes, oatmeal. Home killed meat. When children plead for something sweet, don't scold them. They're only maintaining their inalienable right as an as active and growing young citizens to an extra ration of energy. Well, home killed me. Hold on. Ported me. Yeah. Okay. All craziness. All cool. Makes for a lot of story content. Okay, we got cars down here too, apparently. Wow, is, is it an actual functioning clock? That's crazy. Is it actually gonna move when it hits the freaking top? Are you a working clock? I have to wait like 15 seconds to find out, but it's it's going to be an exhilarating 15 seconds. You gonna move? Is this actual 15 seconds? It feels really slow. It didn't move. The clock is a lie. All right. Yeah, or let's put it that way: the ticking is a lie. Those aren't real ticks. Nothing's happening. Gabe Johnson. Yeah. Nope. Here's a thing. What's upstairs? Local inner but I yeah yeah we saw that already. Lots of pictures of Cave Johnson. Push the door. <laughs> By the door, do not block. It's all the boxes are in front of that door. How lovely. <laughs> It's just traffic lights. Okay. Yeah, that's that, that, that's what projectors look like. They just like look like your general traffic traffic lights. Okay. U.S. Department of Defense Contractor of the Year runner-up. 
Don't worry, those toys won't kill you. The safety on their guns is on. Had some lab boys shut them down. Crazy Harry likes me. I look work just like I hate my boss. Layoffs anyone? Love. Please do not touch. Remote active, remote active door. Yeah, uh, sure. Oh, at least they got the boxes the right way facing up. It's just a crate. If you're hearing this message, you're at the sleeping chamber. Carolyn, is the test ready? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. Then you're good to go. Step into the chamber and get into the bed. Our lab boys will take care of the rest. Oh, I have feet. I found them. Intro to the game. <laughs> is it? Is it still? Is it the end of the intro? Or are we still going? Anything happening? Is a. Uh... Is, is this thing on? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, right, you can't answer. <clears throat> I'm so sorry, astronaut, Olympian, or war hero. There was a slight problem with the test. Don't worry, though. We got shot okay. Nothing's different. Nothing's changed. Sedation Just, levels. Uh, head out of the chamber. I'll tell you a bit more out there. Oh, dear. Excretion recycle. Oh, no. Had a few of my scientists make what's called long fall boot. Uh, I mean, aperture science innovators, long fall boots. <laughs> that was easier to think of than I thought. Hmm. Well, it did. We did finish chapter one, so I guess I'll <laughs> leave things at that for this part. Uh, um. We'll hopefully get more action in the next one. <laughs> I mean, they, they got a... This thing had good reviews, right? It's not just walk around this place, walk to the next location, and then no puzzles. Hope you enjoyed. Aloha.